Hi guys, welcome to Asian Petrif. Today we finally get to show you the all new Genesis GV60, first EV car from Genesis based on the all new EV platform, EGMP platform. We actually do not have much time today, so we can actually have to gonna show you in one take style. Um, so let's uh, see this white one. Uh, it's actually matte, uh, lovely color. Um, and it, I think it looks much better than the photo. Uh, the green one, not good, but this actually looks pretty good. And um, without any further ado, let me just show you the car from the front. Um, just like any other Genesis models, we have a quad headlamp system. And if you see closely, we have one, two, three, four, five. Five times four equals 20 in total, 20 LED pixels. And if I may, let me just uh, show you the LED headlamp system working in action. Um, so that's DRL, headlamp, high beam, turn signal. And I will not do the horn because I don't want to freak everybody. Okay, uh, we have a shock here. And this is actually based on the all new EGMP platform, which is also shared with uh, Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6. That's why we have uh, this large clamshell type hood on the top. And depending on whether you get it with a single motor or dual motor, um, you get this uh, trunk. I guess this is a dual motor system. If you get it with single, you get about double um, depth. But uh, yeah, it's smaller compared to Tesla Model Y. But uh, what I heard is uh, Genesis and Hyundai and Kia wanted to uh, allocate more space for interior. So yeah. And if you see here, we have a new logo here. Uh, Genesis says, it is about 80% thinner now. It also has this very distinctive pattern on it. So it both looks and feels very premium. I, I think it looks, goes well with the EV design. And the Crest grill, um, to cool off the battery located on the bottom, it has moved from top to the bottom. So yeah, it's still here. Um, so guys, let me know, what do you think about the front design in the comment section? I personally think, uh, this one, first, it looks a lot better in person. And second one, um, I think it looks uh, most luxurious uh, compared to Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6. Um, Ioniq 5, um, I think it, it's more family oriented. Um, EV6, uh, I think it's the most sporty one, but most uh, luxurious is this guy. So let me know, guys, what do you think about the front design in the comment section, please? Um, now let me show you the uh, car from the side. Um, let's see, uh, the rim design looks a bit busy, but it's all right. Let's see, it's wearing 255, 40 by 21 inch on front and back. And uh, just one side note is that uh, if you're buying an electric car, um, try to get it uh, at, with the uh, smallest wheel size possible. If you can get it with 17 inch, 16 inch, get it with it because rather than getting with all-wheel drive system, um, because all-wheel drive system decouples when it's not in use, but the rim, it's, it's there like 100% time. So it really affects the range. If, so if you want more range, which is the critical thing, most critical thing for the um, EV car, so I think you should get it with smaller rims. Uh, but it looks pretty okay. Um, we have the distal side mirror here and flush type door handle so to reduce drag so it can stay more efficient and we have a blacked out a pillar to create sort of a floating roof line i think it goes very well with this uh matte white color nice and you can get it with the uh sunroof but this one did not come with any sunroof um we have some black trims on the bottom um very clean lines smooth lines on the side and uh yeah. Oh, one more thing. When you come to the end, uh, Genesis calls this uh, Volt, DLO, uh, like a thunder, right? Uh, so I think it goes well with the uh, EV, uh, EV car concept. And yeah, it's a one way to, nice way to differentiate against uh, Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6. Okay, now let me uh, show you the second row seat myself. Okay. You know I'm a 6'2". Um, 
Let's go to my leg room. Uh, there's a walk-in device. Let me just put it onto uh, B pillar. Just close the window, the door. Or I can just leave it open. Let's so it's it's not so dark. Uh, there's good amount of leg room and headroom is nice too. Um, let's see. Uh, the seat does not recline. Oh, it reclines, but it does not slide. Uh, seats are pretty comfortable. Um, let's see. Ooh, sorry. We have a window comes down, not all the way, but almost all the way. Uh, we have double laminate windows, even for the second row passengers. Pretty nice and. Nice baby shade for the second row passengers. I was going to comment on this, but Genesis uh, had this. Uh, has this. Uh, we have three stage heated seats. Actually, three for the second row passengers. Little cup holder, very cute. Air vents on the B pillar, and uh, like I told you, I'm going to show you that one. That one has a uh, sunroof on the top. It, it's it's like one of those uh, ones in from uh, Hyundai Ioniq 5. It does not open, but it's it's a large panoramic one. Um, we have a uh, seems to be C charging type charging ports here. Uh, good storage area here. It's quite large. Um, really loving the flat, full flat bottom. Uh, if Daniel was here, he would probably lay down here. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, good armrest with two cup holders. Um, like I told you, um, there's no sunroof, but we're going to show you pretty soon. Okay. So, that's what it looks like. Um, so compared to uh, Kia EV6, uh, it's about 8,000 US dollars difference price-wise, but I think, I think we're going to show you a little bit more, but I think it's, it's worth the money. Uh, I'm going to show you the whole car and tell you in a little bit. Okay, now let me just uh, show you the, the rear design. Okay, so looking at the car from the rear, there isn't any rear window wiper. Um, you know, Hyundai, Kia says, you know, it's okay, but I really like to have an uh, actual rear window wiper. Uh, you, need, you need one. I need one, okay? And we have a large uh, spoiler at the rear with additional LED bright light. Camera for 360 camera, two-line TLM. Looks pretty nice. Um, says GV60 Genesis. I like the fact that they just kept the name going, um, GV80, GV70, GV60. So really wish they make GV90. <laughs> okay, and uh, you know, this is all electric vehicle, so there isn't any muffler or anything like that. Very cleanly designed, uh, which call it a low bumper design. So that's the turn signal. I don't know where the backup lamp is. Backup lamp is probably here. Uh, it's got that dotted line probably. and. Uh, I told you this also shares the platform with uh, Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6 eGMP platform. The, so the trunk is quite, quite the same, right? Um, I also have this cover here so you can hide many things. <laughs> and uh, I also have a V2L. Uh, this supports up to 3.6 kilowatts V2L. So you can use lots of... Uh, household items here. There's also 12 volt charging here. And if you need more cargo room, of course you can fold the second row seats like this. Yeah, it's a uh, 60 to 40, so should be quite nice. Okay. So, um, all right, let's move over here because Everybody's occupied. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's see. So, I'm going to have to pause a little bit because every car is occupied for now. So, give me a second. Okay, now we have some room. Uh, actually, you don't need to bring any keys to get into your Genesis GV60 because right here there's a face recognition system. And when your Genesis GV60 recognizes you, it will pull up many, many presets such as steering wheel and seating positions, head up display settings, and also infotainment screen settings. So that will be very, very good welcome for you. And uh, let's just get inside. And when you do get inside, you still don't need to uh, bring any key because there is a finger 
fingerprint recognition system. Um, my fingerprint is not registered, but when you do, uh, it's going to start the car and also you can drive it. I was going to show you uh, the crystal spirit um, turning, but for the safety reasons, uh, they are not allowing. But we have this uh, crystal uh, spear right here. Uh, when it is on, when it's ready, it gives you this uh, dial type gear selector. But when it is, when the car is just on, when it's not ready to drive, it just gives you that crystal spear. So, which looks very um, luxurious and nice. And I think it's a very good idea because, you know, this is an EV car. Uh, so it's really hard to know whether the car is on, ready to drive or not. But this way, it's really easy, uh, right? When, when it gives you the dial selector, you know, directly the car is ready or when it's you know beautiful crystal you know it, the system's on but it's not ready to drive so i think whoever made this uh, system deserves a vacation so very nice um we also have uh, two large screens right here up here and also um, what do you call it head up display so we have uh, lots of uh, screens augmented reality and everything so I really like the screens. I think it looks good. And <laughs> there's two more actually for the uh, digital side mirrors. Uh, if you ask me, I think, uh, you know, even up to, uh, because this also gives you a blind spots monitoring system and alert system. So I think up to there, I think it's good enough. But if you really want uh, more tacky stuff, of course you can get it. Um, so for me, I think it, I, that feels a little bit redundant. Um, we have a new steering wheel, new Genesis logo up here. And also, uh, you know, Hyundai Ioniq 5 did not have any Hyundai logo on the steering wheel, but, but this one, Genesis logo feels right at home. So that should be good, pretty good. And it also has the boost mode. Um, this uh, performance model, it also comes with performance model. Performance model output, it cranks out about 320 kilowatts and if you press this boost button it raises boost up the uh, uh, output up to 360 kilowatts for 10 seconds and the performance model this is the performance model will hit 100 kilometers per hour within just four seconds and um, i don't know how to operate it but get this uh, the performance model also comes with the drift mode so i cannot wait to get the performance model as a press car and also show you how it drives handles and everything so stay tuned guys uh, it's going to be very very fun and uh, i also heard uh, genesis used uh, many many cleans and recycled materials all throughout the cabin so for the seats for the suede uh, for the crash pad and for the door trim so it's something very nice to uh, hear and also we have a flat bottom right here really nice um, and we also have lots of physical buttons and dials for the climate media control I really like that very intuitive to use and also we have a volume button here three stage heated and ventilation seats heated seats auto hold 360 camera right there great graphics and uh, wireless charging pad right here storage area here oh it's a just like Hyundai Ioniq 5 it's a shelf type pretty nice and we also have a Bang & Wolfson 17 speaker sound system by Bang & Wolfson so it just sound very nice and uh, this car also comes with the uh, OTA update system usually OTA update uh, and also they made this new tile for the Genesis I really like it um, and uh, new OTA system usually OTA system updates uh, in maps and little tiny icons and stuff like that but not with this genesis g8 uh, g60 they went really further and now it can um, change how it performs right so you can you can update its ecu uh, steering wheel suspensions airbags and also driving assistance so unless you break something you get into large accidents uh, you can update everything uh, for yourself so so that's pretty nice. We also have some storage area here. Uh, two uh, C-type charging port, 12 volt charging. So that's about it, two cup holders. So uh, yeah, I really wish uh, we had uh, this uh, as a 
live streaming so I can answer the question, but because of the COVID, uh, there's an embargo. So we really could not do it. Okay, now let's go out and uh, tell you a little bit more about the spec of the car. Um, so he's saying uh, we only have five minutes few minutes so let me just wrap it up um, this car only comes with 77.4 kilowatts hour battery so there's no small battery uh, range 451 kilometers so uh, for the uh, rear wheel drive model so uh, Kia EV6 long range rear wheel drive 475 kilo uh, Korean standard so this is has a little bit less range but you know Korean spec um, range is very stingy let's say uh, because 475 Kia EV6, we uh, managed to get about 530 kilometers. So yeah, I think this car can do a little bit more. Okay, uh, what else? Uh, it also comes with adaptive preview suspension. So the front camera reads the road ahead and adjusts the damping rate so to give you better ride. Uh, active noise cancellation system. And I really heard Genesis really worked hard to make this car very quiet and silent. Um, Price, okay, price, uh, 50K US dollar direct conversion for this Genesis uh, G60 with rear wheel drive. Um, a Kia EV6 uh, rear wheel drive long range is about 42K US dollar direct conversion. So uh, there's about 8,000 US dollars price gap. Um, whether, do I think it's worth it? Um, yeah, I, I think it's worth it. You can feel more connected. There's more, better quality materials and uh, I'm gonna have to actually drive it but it's it's quite nice okay so uh, yeah we're just <laughs> we're gonna get kicked out so uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and this has been a quick first look with the Genesis GV60 uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, we're gonna be back with uh, first drive and hopefully when we get it as a press car I'm gonna show you much more much more about this Genesis GV80 so thank you guys so much for tuning in. And if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you guys. See you soon. Stay healthy and bye-bye.